Mr. Terrific. Who wins the war? Yeah, it's Mr. Terrific, and it's not even close. Mr. Terrific's tech is some of the most broken tech there is in comics. Allow me to explain. Mr. Terrific issue number six. Mr. Terrific can create force fields to entrap his opponents. Unless you have some tech that can counteract it, you're not getting out. And not just that, he can blast you at a distance with his T-spheres. Mr. Terrific issue number one. The T-spheres have the ability to casually open portals to other dimensions. Flash, issue number 775. Not only are the T-spheres fast enough to hit the Flash and knock the Flash on his ass, but they're fast enough to predict his movements and create a barrier to protect Mr. Terrific. Last time I checked, Captain America is not faster than the Flash. And if Flash can't get past that barrier, what do you think Captain America is going to do? Mr. Terrific, issue number 3. The T-spheres can sneak up on someone and create Sonics in their ears, knocking them out. And if he ever needs more T-Spheres, he can just open a portal and have thousands of them come out of nowhere. And that's just the casual shit that his tech can do. Then, you got Mr. Terrific on top of that. One of the three smartest people on Earth. A master strategist and a master hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Proficient enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best of them. He's a former Olympian at peak physical human conditioning and can dodge laser blasts easily. I love Captain America. He's my second favorite Marvel character. But with his popularity, you guys think he can take on anyone. And listen, Captain America is a menace to society. But compared to Mr. Terrific, he's nothing but a juiced up frat boy with a shield. Nothing that Terrific can't take care of. But don't worry, Cap. After Terrific knocks the shit out of your ass, he'll lay your body down next to the River Truth. You can chill there for a while thinking about exactly what you did.